sex, sex. <laughs> I almost did not film this episode. I was like, hmm. Someone said when a woman is saying no, she's saying yes. Is it really true? <laughs> Who is going to answer that question? Mm. Keep watching. <laughs> It's raw, you know. This is so raw. <laughs> this is. But on a second note, or on a second thought, I thought about it. I said this episode might just be useful to someone out there. So I decided to film. So I hope it's useful to you that is watching right now. Please ensure you watch to the end. See ya. You're welcome to my channel uh, and if you're here for the first time I am Favor Napoleon and if you are already a subscriber thank you for always tuning to my channel and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe just support us support me by subscribing you know subscribe just click that button under this video you're watching right now the subscribe button just click it so that you can always get the notification anytime I upload any video. You know, at the beginning of the year, I promised I was going to be uploading, uh, uploading same way episode. People were requesting, talk about love, talk about relationship, okay? And I said, okay, I'm going to be uploading same um, episode as regard love this year. So I, this is the third one that I am uploading this year, and it's still remaining four. Hmm, I still have a long way to go. But you know, this episode. <laughs> I'm keeping it real. I'm saying it as it is. You know, when we are growing up, uh, or maybe probably in life, let me just use in life, you you see people, they want to be an accountant, they go to the university, they want to, you want to be a medical doctor, you go to the university, you learn, you go to school, you learn, you know, some, you want to be an accountant, some, some people, engineer, they go to school, they learn, they spend five years four years six years in school some people master their field <laughs> they go ahead and study more to master their field to master their profession some will be awarded a doctorate degree and all that just to be a professional and in that um, field maybe you you're probably going to do it and retire after a few years of working then um whichever profession you will work and you retire after some years and stay at home you know or face any other thing but when it comes to marriages we don't have any they don't they don't send us to any school to go and learn how to stay in a relationship or we are there is no i've never seen any school that will say oh this is marriage um marriage degree or something like that <laughs> Please, if you've seen anything like that, let me know in the comment section. You know, we don't we don't come across such things. But this is something. This is something that you're going to be in for life. Something that you're going to stay in for the rest of your life. You know, till death do you part. You know, you're going to be in that relationship like for as long as you're alive. You know, we don't pray for divorce. You know, so you're going to be there, but we, we are not taught in any way how to be a wife or how to be a good husband. We were never taught, even when we were growing up. You know, when you're growing up, you start schooling from from the age of three. You already start schooling, learning things, trying to hold your pencil, trying to do all that. But then you graduate from there, you go to another grade, you go to you keep moving, you keep learning things as children. But we are not being taught as children that when you grow up, this is what you're going to face, this is what you're going to do. Maybe other people went through it, but I'm talking from a, a personal experience and from what I've seen around. You know, we don't um, actually face all that. We don't actually um, experience or we are not taught all that as in how we're going to be when we get to our husband's house or when we marry our wife and all that. But at the end of the day, when you get to marry, that's why when you get to marry, people are... They, they are, they are expectation of like, mm, hmm, is this how it is? You know, is this how it is when they get there? Hmm, I never knew how it is. You know, I always say, I tell people all the time that marriage is hard work. When I mean hard work, it's hard work. Any sweet and beautiful marriage you see, inside and out, that is gloomy, 
that is beautiful, that you admire, that is genuine, as in the love is genuine, is hard work. It's hard work. Just like when we pray, most people just want to do five minutes and go. They want to do two minutes and go. They don't want to spend time and pray. Fine, it's not really the amount of prayer that you pray that you know that whole oh, God has answered. But it's the way you pray that you'll be convinced. Oh, everything is settled, you know. So marriage is hard work. Prayer is hard work, you know. So by, by, by the time, prayer is not something that you enjoy. Praying, oh, except it gets to an extent. So when you pray and you see you see the result, you love the result of the prayer, but to not sit down and pray that long, you probably be, you be praying when you are driving, or maybe when you just want to get to your office, you start praying. But when you pray, you love the outcome of prayer, but to not pray the prayer. The same thing with exercise, you know, because of the situation right now, I've added like four kg already. I always go out to run, to jog, but because everywhere is locked down, I can't go out now and I'm just adding weight. I'm doing the exercise, but I'm not really seeing the effect in the house because I'm not used to really doing it at home. So everybody wants to be trim, everybody wants to be fit. Most people, let me not say everybody, most people want to be fit, they want to be trimmed and all that. But we love the result when we exercise. But who is really, who, how many people are really actually taking the discipline to exercise themselves? So that's marriage. Beautiful marriage, sweet marriage is hard work. So if you want to have a sweet and a beautiful marriage, you have to work it out. You have to work it out. So today I'll be sharing those three truths. And I'm going to be saying three things that the woman needs to be happy to stay with you this man <laughs> and three things that the man needs to to stay with you lady the first love a woman needs love she needs it just like when the bible says that god loves us so much and he gave his only begotten son the first one is love. A woman needs love. God loves us and he gave us his son. God loves us. He, 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 he came to die for us. And he went on the cross and he gave his own image, his own self for us. So that's value. So when you love someone, you have to, you have to know the value. Just like every, every woman needs love in marriage. Every wife needs to be loved. Just like when a woman loves you. She, give, she gives you a hug. She said no to all those men. All those men, all those men who, who like her, all those men who love her. She says no to all of them. And give herself to you. And make up her mind that you will be the only man in her life. She, gave, she made her vow. Even when there are men, who, there are so many men who might like her, who still winks at her when she goes hard, when she goes to the market. But she made up her mind that she's giving you everything. She's giving you her body. She's giving you her life. She's giving you her all. You know, that is value. So how much as a man are you willing to pay for your wife? What kind of attitude are you willing to cancel for her? What are you willing to cancel? So every woman needs love. You need to love her enough to be able to cancel a lot of things for her. For your marriage to be sweet, men have to love their wife. The Bible says love your wife because God knows you can give it. He knows you can love her. That's why he said love your wife. So every woman needs love. Every woman needs love. Every woman needs to, to be aware. To be assured that you love her. Love is very important. And she, lived, and she needs it big time. Real good. She needs to be aware. She needs to be assured that you love her. So you have to love your wife. You have to consistently assure her that you love her. So we say, her, oh, my wife, hmm, she cannot go anywhere because she's not beautiful. Who will even look at her? <laughs> that's what you think but first of all you looked at her or maybe you say it's arranged arrange marriage but you married her at the end of the day and if you look at it women they will say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder 
let her go outside and you see how many people that is winking at this woman that really likes her so a woman loves you so much and she gives her heart to you that is value so when you love someone you have to um um, um like what you what you value it depends on how much you are willing to 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 pay for it it depends on how much you place on that um on something that you value on something that you value how much are you willing to pay for her how much are you willing to give for her how much are you willing to leave things to let things go for her you know that is love what you are willing to place on her is love love your wife the way she wants to be loved don't love her after cheating on her or after you must have done whatever you want to do you start apologizing you know love her the way she wants to be loved some men love to love their wife the way they used to love their hairs they'll say oh when i was dating caroline she, anytime i does this kind of things to her she appreciates it this is not caroline you're married to you are, you are probably married to joy or you're married to um, um princess for example so you love princess or joy the way she wants to be loved you don't start using the style of the other person on your wife. You know, people love your wife the way she will value your love. Love your wife the way she will be happy, the way she will appreciate it. So don't love her with the way you were loving your hairs. There are some men after cheating on their wife, they will not pay some money to them or go and buy them special gifts. It might work for you with your hairs. It might work for you when you were dating. Caroline, in my work for you when you were dating, uh, I'm trying to find names now. <laughs> in my work for you when you were dating Priscilla, but this person you are married to now is it is Joy or is Princess? So you can't treat her the way you were treating um, the others. So you love her the special way she wants to be loved. Love is appreciated when you love, when you try to un understand your partner and love them the way they want to be loved. Know what works for your partner. Know what works for your wife. Know what works for her. And love her that way. Love her the way. The, 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 it might be in a special way. It might just be telling her things she wants to hear. It might be in uh, in appreciating her all the time. So love her the way she wants to be loved. Mm -hmm. When are you willing to counsel for your wife? Are you willing to counsel looking out for other women? Are you willing to counsel drinking? Are you willing to counsel the attitude that she doesn't like? That is love. So if you want your marriage to work, if you want your marriage to be spicy, you have to love your wife. You have to give her that love that she deserves. The second one. <laughs> The second one is provision. Every woman wants to be sustained. She wants to be provided for. You know, no matter how much a woman hands, she she wants uh, she wants to uh, have that feeling of her husband is sourcing her. She always wants to take from her husband. She always wants her husband to sustain her. She always wants her husband to um, care care for her. She always wants her husband to give her. You know, it's just the way we are wired. So every woman wants to wants to be sustained by her husband. She always want to take from her husband. She always want her husband to give to her. She, she find joy. Oh, it's my husband that gave me this. I'm so happy. It's my husband that bought me this gift. Wow. It's my husband that gave me, gave me this money. Mm. She might not really, they are, everybody know, have a way they respond to things differently. You know, she might not just be shouting when you give to her, but she's so proud and happy when you give to her. They always want to take from their husband. Hmm. Someone will be saying, nah, hmm, that's you, you are a woman. Hey, every woman will say, hey, your money is our money. Uh, my money is my money. We've, we've already, we've changed that already. <laughs> your money is my money. My money is our money too. <laughs> so every woman wants to feel this sense of um, um, sustainership, you know, to, to be sustained by a husband. I want to feel, want to feel that say, oh, it's my husband that is giving me this. It's my husband that is sourcing me. You know, it's it's something that every woman wants to experience, love to experience daily. You know, even when you say, oh, she's saying our money is our money or all that, you will notice that even when you give to a woman, she she wants to willingly give it back to you. That's how women are wired. So if you want your marriage to be spicy and sweet in and out, you have to provide for your wife. You know, 
it's just the way we were created. We always want to take from our husband. Even there are some times you will know that your husband, women, they will know that their husband does, does not have money. For you to know that this is the way they are really wired. They know that their husband doesn't have money. Maybe he doesn't have so much at that time. They still go back and ask for more. They keep going back. You might give them this week. They want from you the, after two days. You might give them after two days. They still want more. You just, they just want to feel that sense that sense that, that they just want to feel the fact that you are the one that is sourcing them so if you really want a spicy marriage provide for your wife provide for her and love her the way she wants to be loved don't love her you can't you can love her more you can love her more but love her the way she wants to be loved you know we're keeping it real. Every woman wants to be sucked by her husband. Every woman wants to be provided for her husband. It doesn't need to be too much. It can be so little. And she's happy. A woman always wants to be provided for. She always wants to be pampered. So you have to pamper her. Many men, many men are poor because they refuse to sustain their wife. Oh, they feel, oh, my wife hand more than me. My wife will hand so much. They refuse to sustain their wife. And that's why they, they are poor. And that's why they will become poor. If a man actually loves a woman and decide to sustain her and provide for her, financially, emotionally, sexually, God will really bless him. Because you have to source your wife. You have to source your wife. If you if you if you source your wife, things will change. Oh. <laughs> so you have to source your wife. It doesn't matter how much she hands. She still admire to take from you. She still admire to want from you. She still wants to have that sense of belonging. Oh, I'm important to my husband. For him to provide for me. For him to take care of me. So these are these are just the tricks about marriage you she, she love to be provided for she always want to call for more and she will keep calling for more and that's why you keep getting plates <laughs> and that's why you keep having and having and having because the collector the collector or the collectant <laughs> is in the house <laughs> this third one hmm. the third one and the final one on this episode <laughs> Is romance. She loves romance. Romance. Hmm. I have to say the way it is. She needs consistent romance. Men, stop going straight to the point. <laughs> A woman needs romance. She needs to be touched. She needs to be told. You have to do all the telling. You know, she needs to know that you love her. You know, a woman is a husband's baby. Don't forget, she was created out of the man. So every woman needs attention. Every woman needs affection. So she needs this romance. So, and you have to give it to her always. And a woman needs to, she needs to be wanted. That's romance. She needs to be wanted. She needs to know that she's beautiful. You have to consistently tell her she's beautiful. You have to consistently want her. You have to consistently admire her. And she don't admire her in your mind. Don't admire her in your head wholly. Tell her. Let her be aware. Let her know how important she is in your life. She needs to be consistently told. And every, every woman wants to she wants to be taken out, out on the date. Just remember when you were trying to marry her, you were taking her, her everywhere all over town, taking her for breakfast, taking her for lunch, even taking her, to, her out for dinner. So why does it change now? So even if you didn't do that, when you, when you got, got married, even when she's not even that kind of person, you just have to do it. At least once in a while, spice things up, tell her we're not cooking in this house today, we're going to eat out, you know? Those are romance. Tell her sweet things. Touch her in the place she does not even want to be touched and the place she wants to be touched. <laughs> this episode eh, is getting hotter, you know. So touch her. Tell her things. 
Take her out on a date. Even after three, four, five, six children, stick, take her out. Tell her you're wearing this red dress. We are going together on a date to do sweet things and to do all the kissing, all the smoke. And men, stop going straight to the point. That's not romance. And that's not romantic. When you just want to do it, you just... No, you have to touch her everywhere. Oh, God. This episode. <laughs> You have to touch her everywhere. You have to touch her. You have to know the places that trees are and do all you can. You know, these are the things that will spice her up. And you should know, even when your wife is angry, there are such things you do to her that will just take her to clad. Clad 1005. <laughs> Is there any clad like that? You know, it will even be above clad 9. Mass does not necessarily have to be, necessarily have to be physical. You know, she can be touched on the phone. You can talk to her on the phone. Oh, I'm just touching you right now, you know. That's it. That's the final one. And now we're going to be moving on to the man. The man? The man. The man. What a man wants. Yeah, I done my research very well. <laughs> and I know when the men are listening to this, they are going to be hailing me. Yeah, right on. Right on, you know. So we're going to be talking about the man and keep watching welcome here what a man needs so i'm going to be talking about three things now the man needs and the first one is friend every man needs a friend every man every husband needs a friend just like every man needs a friend you know every 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 husband needs a wife they can talk to you know they need a wife they they, they can rely on a wife they can confide in you know and um they they need a friend man needs to be accepted and the only person that can be that closest friend to him is his, is you his wife he's not his colleague in the office he's not his um bosom friend he's not his childhood friend he's not his children the best person and the first and the most important person in his life is you the wife so you have to be your husband's friend. It's someone who accepts them, not someone who condemns them. Someone who accepts them, someone who knows them, someone who understands them. Someone who knows what works through their mind, even when they are not speaking. You know, when your friend is not happy, you know your friend is not happy. When something bothers your friend, even without your friend not talking, you know, I have friends, even when they just say hello on the phone, I already know something is cooking. So, I already know something is wrong or something good happens from the sound of their, their voice. So, you have to be your husband friend. You have to know your friend. You have to understand your friend. If you're in a relationship with someone, you, for that relationship to work, you have to understand him or her. So you have to know your friend. So if you call someone your friend, you have to accept that person for that person to be your friend. So you have to accept your husband the way he is. You say, you know, you have to accept him the way he is. You have to be his, you have to, you have to be, you have to find confidence in him. You have to, you have to know him. You have to understand him. So you have to be your friend. So your, your the first thing a man needs is a friend. You know, there are times that people, when they have issues in their home, maybe their wife, maybe the wife or the husband, they go to look for someone else to talk to, something that is very pressing. The first person you should talk to, you should discuss with, is your husband or is your husband. So your husband has to be your friend. He has to be that special person that you can always confide in. He has to be the one that you only got, you, you only got his back, you know. So your husband has to be your friend. He really has to be your friend. Every man needs a friend. And the wife should be that best friend that he has. The wife should be. And you have to be if you are not already. You have to make yourself to be his friend. You have to build that friendship. Someone who he can confide in. Someone who is there for him. Someone who is there for him when there is money. Someone who is there for him when there is no money. Someone who is there for him when things are booming. Someone who is there for him when things are rough. 
So your husband needs a friend and you have to be that friend. So if you want your marriage to be spicy and sweet and the hard work you have to do, you have to be your husband friend, no matter how difficult he may be. You have to find a way to be his friend and you as a friend you have to have some similarities as a friend first of all you start with what he likes what does he like watching what does he like what does what gets his attention if for example is football you get into football you just know a little about football even when naturally you don't like football you just i know what my husband likes they are there are some things that are his, that are his hobby that i don't really naturally i won't pick interest from but because he's my friend and because i have to join him to participate in such things i have to start liking things like that why because he's my friend so i have to like some things that he likes if not all you know that's what relationship is all about it's all about understanding so you have to know your husband you have to love him and you have to be his friend very important that's the first one then the second one the second one is comfort. Your husband have to be comfortable with you. He have to come back to a home where he finds comfort. He have to come back to a home. He have to come back to a home we he looks forward in going back to. When is when he's supposed to close from work by five? By three o'clock, he wants to rush home. Not just because he wants to be with the children, but because he wants to be with his wife. Why? Because he finds comfort in his home. He finds comfort in you, the wife. So every man wants comfort. If you want the marriage to be spicy and sweet, man, and mm, 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 you have to make that as comfortable, not on fire. That's why some men run out of their home because they don't find peace there. They don't find comfort there. Every man wants where he can lie his head and sleep. And that has to be in your home as wives. So you have to make the home comfortable for him. He has to, every man wants comfort. They want they don't want their hair to be hot. They want it calm because their their head is already hot looking for money. <laughs> you really need to give your husband that comfort. Men love comfort. They need somewhere they will come to and there is peace. They just want to have somewhere to lie their head. And you are the best person that can give them that comfort and make them comfortable. So they don't want extra stress. So they want a comfort home. They want to be comfortable in their home. So every man wants comfort. Then the final one on this episode. Eh, 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 eh. The final one is sex, 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 sex. You have to give it. And there's no other person that's going to give it to your husband, just you. So you have to give it. Sex is very important. So it's something that you have to give. You have to keep giving it. Okay? Sex is very important. You know, sex is something that is necessary in the marriage. Sex is something that a man does not want sex. So he needs it. As in, he needs the sex. He needs it to to move. <laughs> he needs it for life to go on. So sex is very important. You know, women. I, I'm going to have another episode. I'm going to talk about sex and women reaction to sex and all that. You know, sex is very important. It's not only men that really enjoy this sex. Women do too. We do. <laughs> and sex is something that you have to enjoy you know men are wired in a way that they give seed that's the way god wired them they 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 are they are made for reproduction so men are already are, are ready for sex anytime anywhere any day they are ready to give it so as women you have to you have to respond positively you have to give it to them someone said when a woman is saying no she's saying yes is it really true <clears throat> she said when a woman is saying yes she's actually saying no when she's saying no she's actually saying yes who is going to answer that question mm. we, women naturally does not just want sex every time a man can have sex with a woman more than once a day. Why? That's the way it is, is wired. 
That's the way he's wired. That's the way men are wired. They are men, they are made for giving out seed. They are men, they are made to reproduce. So they consistently can at any time. But women are not wired that way. Women are not women, we enjoy sex, but we don't just want it every second, every minute, every day. A man can sleep with his wife today or in five hours. I want it later in the day. It's the way they are wired. I don't think they are possessed or they have mental issues or they are crazy. They are not. It's the way God created a man to be. He's wired for that. He is. <laughs> that's why men don't. That's why men don't have measured circle. They are meant. To, they are consistently meant to produce seed. So they need this cells to function. They need the cells to function. So. Men has to be satisfied. So women, you have to walk around it to always satisfy your husband. If you want, don't starve your husband with sex. Don't punish him with sex. You know there are some there are some men, there are some women they they put their husband under some certain obligations because of sex. If he doesn't do this, they don't give them sex. If he doesn't do that, they don't they don't satisfy them in bed. They punish, the, they, are, they punish their husband or the men just because of that. But that has to stop. If you want your marriage to be spicy and to move on, it is just the truth. The truth is that walk around it. And men also try and understand your, your wife's body. She might not want it all the time, but there are one or two things you can do to set her in the mood. That's where the romance comes in. That's where the showing, showing her love comes in. So sex is what is very important in marriage. Sex actually fuels the marriage. You know, sex is not the most important thing in marriage. Knowledge is. Understanding is the most important. But these are truths, sensitive truths I'm sharing with you to make your marriage spicy, to make it gloomy, to make it sweet, to make it you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. So to make it that kind of marriage that people want to um, they want for themselves. So, sex is something that I cannot really overemphasize. So, men, you also have to look around it. How you can put your wife in the mood? How you can want make her want it? You know, we are not wired to always want sex. We are not wired to have sex twice, three, four, five times a day, everywhere in the house and everywhere in the corner. There are some women who actually have trained yourself to be that kind of person. But you might be married to a woman who doesn't really like sex. So find two ways around it, few ways around it that you can always put her in the mood to respond to you sexually. So sex is very important and if you want your marriage to be spicy, if you want it to be sweet, you have to do this theory important through the marriage. For the women, it's love. Hmm? That is one. is the love. You need to love them. They need to be provided for and you need to consistently romance them. If you even want the sex, if you want that comfort, then if you want that friendship, give them those three things. And the women will definitely reciprocate with all those three things to make you happy, to have a sweet home. And this is the end of this episode. Hope you had a nice time. And hope I tried in keeping it real, you know. I just have to spill it out. Hope you had a sweet time, a nice time on my channel. Hope you did. And if you enjoyed this episode, if you learned one or two, three, four tips, or your contribution, what do you have to say? I need to hear from you, please. Please just type, 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 type on the subscribe button and write. Please write. I, it, it means the whole world to me when I see people comment on the comment section on my channel. It means a lot to me. When I see them comment, when I see them give me that thumbs up, when I see them press that like button, oh, I'm so excited. Why don't you make me excited and happy by pressing the subscribe button, by commenting, by just writing something about marriage. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think about this episode. And if you haven't subscribed, <coughs> subscribe it's just that red button under this video you're watching now you see where the word subscribe just click it that is all it's as simple as that and it's free it is free thank you for
for watching and i'll see you on my next episode bye